So guys, lately I've been personally really obsessed with specifically sweet oud. And you know, when I have a crush on a certain note or combination, I can't get enough of it and love to wear multiple fragrances with it to make my experience with it as complex as it can possibly get. And that's why in this video I will be sharing with you my most favorite sweet oud combination that consists out of three fragrances. And technically they all can be described as sweet ouds, however, they smell very different and quite complex on their own, but together they create absolutely magical fragrance. So make sure to keep watching to find out everything about them. And if you love sweet woods or layering fragrances, which I've recently heard from you once I asked if you love to mix perfumes, a lot of you guys said yes, you wear lots of different perfumes during the day and actually enjoy layering them. So I hope you will enjoy watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if that's the case. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And once you're done with that, we can also get started. Hello and welcome everyone to another layering episode and I know I haven't filmed these for you in a while but I've been really working on this specific one that's dedicated to sweet oud and I feel like although oud has been a very trendy note for a long time now, there are not enough sweet ouds out there or are there? Please let me know your feeling about oud in general and sweet oud in particular and if you know a great sweet oud fragrance and you're willing to share it, please do so down below in the commentary section because I can get enough of it and I crave more and these three are perfect on their own. I'm telling you guys, if you love sweet oud, whether one, second or third is gonna be fine, but together, oh my goodness, this is just like a match made in sweet oudy heaven. And actually, oud is a very complex material. It's not your typical wood, you know, like cedar wood, for example, that we will smell like the real tree or maybe even something mossy that will remind you of a forest. No, oud smells luxurious, expansive, very specific and mostly these days uh, perfumes are created out of synthetic wood, which is fine because natural one is really pricey and even synthetic ones are very expensive. So please let me know how you feel about wood and what is it about it that you love so much? What's your favorite facet about it? Is it the smokiness, the green part, maybe the dirtiness? Please tell me. And I'm getting started, you guys. Some Without any further ado, I know I'm very chatty, but that's because I am just like sort of like oud fanatic at the moment. And the sweetest one out of this trio would be oud Sofran, that you might remember me raving about ever since I discovered, I believe it was late summer or in between the seasons. And it's like a jewel in my collection. Just check out this bottle. It is amazing. And the fragrance is really nice, which opens with very sweet, warm, spicy scent. Sofran in there is actually not as strong as you might think because it's right in the name. And that's good for me because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Usually it's metallic, but this one is warm and enveloping, all really around. And although you smell the display of vanilla and oud in there, I would say that with time vanilla dominates in this composition, but I feel like without oud it might be too simple. So if this is oud, then it's definitely covered into vanilla sugar. It's like vanilla icing on oud. It smells so good, so inviting, so cozy. I've even sprayed on my brush to comb through my hair because I've been really into it. It performs amazingly. It's a very strong strong fragrance and if I want like this kick of sweet woodiness, woodiness, then I would spray some of this and if I want a lot of sweetness I would go you know like heavy on it and if not just a little bit because it goes a long way so this is for those who want a lot of sweetness in their wood perfume and it actually gives me strong Montals vibes and reminds me of this one that's called dark vanilla, but I would say that Montel's fragrance is muskier, a little bit darker and more vanillic when oud saffron smells truly delicious and gourmand. So it also makes me 
think of the back of a nail, but I wouldn't say that those are as similar as these. So whether you have the, this one or that, it's gonna be fine and it's just like a perfect, you know, sugary, woody vanilla. But if you want something more luxurious and you're not the biggest fan of gourmands, but you want your oud to be sweet, I would recommend you this fragrance from Sarah Baker, which in my personal opinion is one of the best releases of 2021. And it's of course her Ludo that was composed by Chris Morris and he's master of Udi perfumes and has created so many different ones for other brands, including lots of surge of perfumes. And this fragrance is so beautiful because it's sort of fresh in the opening. There is very much padding right in the roll. So there is this freshness that I maybe miss a little bit in Oud Safran. There is even like a cherry hint, but it's not your typical cherry note. It doesn't smell sweet. Instead, it's like a green cherry on a tree that's not ripe yet. And there is slightly dirty accent in there too. Maybe it comes from Oud. I know there are multiple different varieties of it that is used for this fragrance probably that's why it is so interesting because it actually changes on the skin there is this dirty animalic facet but in fact it's very creamy and smooth and i really love that about it because there is white chocolate there is vanilla there is orange musk and this fragrance is so pretty like it smells luxurious smells very expensive kind of like wood that we are familiar with and at the same time new it's like mature and playful very beautiful and i need to point out the performance because it is super long lasting it's not overwhelming it smells confident and lasts for a long time it's just such a pleasure to wear it so it just smells like a very smooth but not truly gourmand oud and sarah baker told me in our live chat on instagram that she's not the biggest fan of truly you know like edible and sweet gourmand so this is her take on this genre and i really appreciate it and finally last but not least is going to be initius Oud for happiness that I'm very happy about. It's much better in my personal opinion than Oud for greatness. And I got a decant of it from UniQ and I really recommend you decanting perfumes instead of blind buying something that you might not end up liking. And this one is so cool, you guys, because it's special, okay? In the opening, it's fresh. It smells like ginger candies a little bit to me. So I can describe it as fresh aromatic. Ginger in here is sort of fresh and tingly and energizing first, then it smells powdery. I really enjoy that fast about it, kind of like grounded ginger powder. And main twist in here comes from licorice. It makes it bittersweet, maybe like herb sweet. There is vanilla, but I feel like it smells like um, maybe kitchen spices. And that's like this gourmand element that smells so avant-garde and so fun and just so unique. So I have a lot of fun with this fragrance. I feel like it goes well with all seasons, great for cold and warm weather. So it's just universal and all three are great. Usually I spray them on different parts of my body and I can go like this throughout the day if I want to smell a little something specific, but usually I don't layer them on top of each other. However, I spray them on my hair like this, you guys. And then what I will do, show you in a second. So all three fragrances go right on my hair. And then I will just simply run my fingers through it and they will combine right there and just create this magical scent that attracts people and just brings me lots of pleasure. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know if you have any experience with these three or know another great sweet wood fragrance. I'm looking forward to hear from you. If you want to request next Stellari episode, feel free to do that too. And don't forget to give this one a huge thumbs up. Check out the description box for more helpful information like links to my previous videos and some discounts if, in case you're looking for new perfumes. And of course, I would really appreciate your subscription as well as support on Buy Me Coffee website. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. And if you have any questions left, I'm here to answer them. So let's start a conversation down below in the commentary section. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please let me know which kind of oud do you personally like. I feel like one of these is really really sugary, sweet, vanillic. Another one is smooth, creamy, expensive, and not even that sweet, but it's like a very uh, noble type of scent that Oud is known for. And Oud for happiness is just like a very unique Oud. I've never smelled like ginger with Oud, and I find that is very um, 
different and with that fragrance you won't smell like uh, everyone else and the licorice is anyway just uh, a very I would say not underrated note but it's not for everyone it's not my favorite but I really like how it's done in this fragrance all of these are unisex but if you want more information I'm here to answer all your questions make sure to stay tuned smell good and we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys